in the news this week. Minister of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, Praveen Gordon, comments firefighters involved in the Western Cape firestorm. On the 15th of April 2015, the Minister of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, Praveen Gordon, commended firefighters for the excellent services rendered during devastating felt fires in the Western Cape. Minister Gordon was speaking at the Thanksgiving ceremony. Firefighters from various organizations were hosted by the National Disaster Management at the Group Center in Cape Town. I asked to actually have this interaction with you because I was very tempted in the middle of your fight against uh, the fires to uh, meet with some of you and learn about your experiences but also to share government solidarity with you during uh, what has been a, a, a very difficult time, but ultimately a victorious time. Because you were able to save so many lives, you were able to save so many homes, and ultimately you've done us tremendously proud as a country and certainly as a province as well. So I want to congratulate all of you. I want to congratulate you for your courage. I want to congratulate you for your caring. I want to congratulate you for the brilliant example you provide of public service to all of us. All firefighters and aerial firefighters that were involved in fighting fires all over the province received certificates which were handed over to the respective fire service agencies. Western Cape Ground Operations Manager Gerard van Niekerk received the certificates from Minister Gordon on behalf of working on fires firefighters. With the recent hectic fires, three people lost their lives. During this time, all of them fallen heroes, which included WAF's Willem Hendrik Marais. Minister Gordon handed tokens of appreciation to the families of these fallen heroes and also to Frank Forbay, who sustained severe burns during the firestorm. Minister Gordon also encouraged firefighters to learn and develop their skills. Well, firstly, you know, the Working for Fire program is part of a broader uh, expanded public works program. And the expanded public works program over the last few years has taken up billions of runs to create employment for people in a country where we have a high level of unemployment. What is excellent about the Working for Fire program is that not only are you employed, but you're learning a whole lot of new skills. You're making a positive contribution in terms of fighting fires uh, or creating an environment where fires don't actually develop. So there's a proactive element and there's a reactive element as well. Uh, it's also an opportunity for uh, particularly young people to come into the EPWP system, join the Working for Fire program, and develop themselves uh, with new types of skills, and later find careers uh, within the disaster management family, which plays a very important part, not only in fighting fires, but in many other areas as well. So uh, this program is a very crucial part and the Department of Environment plays a very critical part in ensuring that they uh, implement the program, that they spread the program in different parts of the country. And the message to the Working for Fire people uh, that were involved in the recent fires in the Western Cape is a very simple one. Congratulations, you've done a brilliant job. You were the majority of the people involved in the firefighting uh, that took place, it would appear. And uh, you set a brilliant example of how to serve the public, to make sure that whilst nature takes its course, you also protect uh, human beings, uh, their properties, and uh, learn new skills, but demonstrate your courage and your ability to make sacrifices, both in terms of time and sometimes even physical injury, uh, in order to uh, contribute something for the public good. And I'm quite confident that the public in the Western Cape appreciates the kind of effort that you've put on we as government certainly appreciate uh, your courage and your efforts. Zongezo Fubosi is an environmental hero after he saved a tortoise while suppressing the Musenberg fire. With the recent Cape fires, many of our firefighters who spend days and nights on end fighting these fires came from impoverished communities across South Africa. Thanks to their employment in the Working on Fire program, as an extension of the expanded public works program of government, they have been given a work opportunity to earn a living and to put food on the table. For the 27-year-old firefighter, Zongezo Fobosi from the Yaldeburg base in the Western Cape, this work opportunity in the Working on Fire has changed his life. In the end, I was a firefighter. I was a firefighter. 
and the man travelers and the bona is Luanya and Azang and as bona like Inguenya, a cheetah with English. So Gulapo in doing the enjoy and not the Mimili Lena because I've been the fool no got by firefight. Zongezo is now seen as an environmental hero by many on social media after he saved a tortoise while suppressing the Musenberg fire. Zongezo says that saving the tortoise was special as the fire was going to burn it. He was congratulated by his colleagues for saving the life of an animal. Because alone. His work in the program is much more than just fighting fires. He joined the program a year ago and says that putting out fires and saving the environment is his job. The working on fire program gave me a new opportunity in life, not only to protect the environment but also to save lives.